Welcome everyone to the Ordinary Council meeting for Tuesday the 26th of September 2023. We have applications for attendance by audio visual link by councillors Bowditch and councillors Barry. Um, so moved by, moved by councillor Dralton Margin, councillor Lecky, all those in favour, raise your hand. Clear that unanimous and carried. The acknowledgement of country please councillor Douglas. I would like to acknowledge the Wanneroo people, the traditional custodians of this land we meet on tonight. I pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging, for they hold the memories, the traditions and the culture of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people across the nation. We have been elected by our community to deliver as our elders of our land have done in the past. I would also like to recognise the strong ongoing connection of First Nations people of the lands and waters where we do our work and their commitment to care for country. Thank you, Councillor Douglas. Civic Prayer, thanks, Councillor Lecky. Almighty God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, we give you thanks for the blessings and bestow us upon us in this shire. Grant to those who hold office in this council the spirit of justice and truth, of wisdom and charity, mindful of our responsibility and of the needs of those we serve, we may promote the true welfare of your people. Exercise wisely and faithfully the authority committed to us and advance the common good through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We have no allergies and four leaves of absence. <coughs> um, someone happy to move that way? No, don't move. No, I, um, which brings us to the election of the Mayor and Deputy Mayor, which for the purposes of this, I'll hand over to the returning officer, Mr. Um, Derek Stevens. I'll just be the chairs. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Councillors, as we know, electing a mayor is an important activity. It's vital that the process is smooth, open and easy to follow and not rush the confusing. When necessary, please stop me if you'd like clarification of any of the matters that have been raised. <clears throat> I have nomination forms. For the position of mayor. We have a nomination form for Councillor Stephen Reynolds. The proposers for Councillor Reynolds are Councillor Lecky, Councillor Rohit Mahajan, Councillor Darrell Marshall, Councillor Graham McNeil. And I take it from your signature here, Councillor Reynolds, that you are in agreement to be nominated for the position of mayor. Thank you. Councillor Jeffrey Drayton, whose nominators are Councillor Deanne Douglas, Councillor Louise Dunn. From the signature on the form, Councillor Drake, I take it you are in agreement to be nominated for the position of mayor. Yeah. <clears throat> in relation to the the voting method, there are three methods open to councillors. There is the open voting method, which is by show of hands, an ordinary ballot, which is a secret ballot whereby an X is placed against the preferred candidate or a preferential ballot where the number one, two, three, et cetera, are placed against each candidate. In relation to this, we require a council to move a motion for the preferred method of voting. So is any council prepared to do that, please? We have moved the motion for uh, option one, given that we have people online. Second that, mate. Council, moved by Councillor Reynolds, second by Councillor Drayton. I move that we go to number one. Oh, sorry, so sorry, Councillor Marshall. Sorry, Councillor Bell. I move that we go to um, I, option two. You shadow any amendment? Um, I would point out the council. I would point out the councillors that uh, anything other than the open voting method will exclude councillors Barry and Bowditch from the voting process. So I'll put the first motion now, if that's okay. Councillors, could you please raise your hands if you would support the method of voting being by the open voting method, please?
There are seven councillors supporting that that method of voting. Just please raise your hands again. I'll read out. I'll... The councillor Barry, councillor Bowditch, councillor McNeil, councillor Reynolds, councillor Mahajan, councillor uh, Lecky. That is seven, seven councillors. Everyone with that. So we will proceed by the method of voting by show of hands. The next step of the process is for myself to write the two candidates' names on a sheet of paper, on separate sheets of paper. And the reason for that is that will place the order by which each councillor will be voted. So, councillor Steve Reynolds. This sheet of paper, which I will show everyone, it's councillor Steve Reynolds. Councillor Jeff Drayton. Councillor Jeff Drayton in this sheet of paper. So in order to ensure probity, I'll ask Councillor's Governance Office to fold the pieces of paper and I won't look and place them in the box. Then I'll be required to pull a name out of the box. And this will determine the order of, of voting. <coughs> the order of voting will be Councillor Drayton followed by Councillor Reynolds. In which case, could I please ask councillors to raise the right hand if they are voted for Councillor Jeff Drayton as Mayor of Muswick Shire Council? I don't. There are five councillors Councillor Woodruff, Councillor Drayton, Councillor Dunn, Councillor Douglas, and Councillor Scholes. Could I please ask councillors? Who are voting for Councillor Steve, uh, Steve Reynolds to be Mayor of Musclebyshire Council to raise their right hands? I'm counting seven councillors: Councillor Barry, Councillor Mark Bowditch, Councillor Steve Reynolds, Councillor Darrell Marshall, Councillor Rohit Mahajan, Councillor Jennifer Lecky, and Councillor Graham McNeil. In which case, councillors. Councillor Steve Reynolds will be the Mayor of Muswell Shire Council for the 12 month period, 26 September 2023 to 14 September 2024. We've got another vote for two. In relation to the vote for Deputy Mayor, we again have two nominations. We have a nomination for Councillor Deanne Douglas, who has been nominated by Councillor Mark Bowditch and Councillor Jeff Drayton. I see by your signature, Councillor Douglas, that you are in agreement to be nominated. The second nomination is for Councillor Graham McNeil, who has been nominated by Councillor Jennifer Leckie. Councillor Rohit Mahajan, Councillor Darrell Marshall, Councillor Stephen Reynolds, and I note from your signature, Councillor Neil, that you are also in agreement to be nominated. That's correct. As before, councillors will go through the process of. Uh, oh, sorry, are there any further nominations for the position of Deputy Mayor that would like to be raised at the moment? I'll take that as a no. And I'll write the note of Councillor 
Leanne Douglas. Councillor Leanne Douglas. And Councillor Graham McNeil. I will again ask Council's Governance Office to follow the, the uh, nominations without my, without me seeing them and putting them in the box and shaking the box. <coughs> Councillor Graham McNeil. So Councillor Graham McNeil will be voted upon first. Could I please ask those who are voting for Councillor Graham McNeil to act in the position of deputy mayor to raise their right hands, please. I'm counting seven, uh, seven votes. Councillor Amanda Barry, Councillor Brett Woodruff, Councillor Brian McNeil, Councillor Steve Reynolds, Councillor Daryl Marshall, Councillor Rohit Mahajan, Councillor Jennifer Leckie. Could I please ask those councillors who are voting for Councillor Deanne Douglas to the position of mayor to raise their right hands? I'm counting five votes. Councillor Mark Bowditch, Councillor Jeff Drayton, Councillor Louise Dunn, Councillor Deanne Douglas and Councillor Roger Dolls. In which case, Councillors, uh, Councillor Deanne Douglas will be deputy mayor of Musbrookshire Council. No, 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 no. <laughs> so sorry, Councillor Graham McNeil. Just reverse the tape, please, everyone. Um, Councillor Graham McNeil will be the deputy mayor of Musbrookshire Council for the period of... <laughs> Congratulations. So thank you, Councillor Reynolds. You'll take over the chair. Thank you, councillors, and uh, appreciate the support. We've got a lot of work to do you know, between now and next term. I'd also just like to thank um, Councillor Leckie for her time as Deputy Mayor as well. Um, and we'll move on you now with the meeting. As per item six, the confirmation of minutes of the ordinary meeting held in the 22nd of August, 2023. Yeah. Councillor Woodruff, seconded by Councillor McNeil. All those in favour, raise your hand. Clear that unanimous and carried. Also, congratulations, Councillor McNeil. I forgot to say that. Thank you. Any disclosures of pecuniary and non pecuniary interests? We'll go from the left. Yeah. Nothing? Yes, Mr. Mayor, are you having a Item number 11.3.5, page number 345, Diwali Festival Sponsorship Request. I have a known significant pecuniary interest reason they are inviting me to attend this event. Thank you, Councillor Hazen. Item 11.5.2, apparently one of the few councillors <laughs> actually um, a member of the Aquatic Centre. Um, I will have a minor pecuniary interest with regards to the Application to reduce the fees. Thank you, Councillor Skulls. Councillor Councillor Barry. Uh, I do have a pecuniary interest in eleven point one point four, the finalisation of AGL planning agreement. As an, I'm, I am an employee of AGL, but I would actually like to request leave for the remainder of this meeting tonight due to work commitments. Okay, Councillor Barry. Um, move the motion on that. Could I have someone move the motion for leave? Councillor yeah. Marshall and Councillor Woodruff. All those in favour for leave grant for Councillor Barry? Clear that unanimous carry. Thank you, Councillor Barry, for your time and all the best with your work duties. Thank you. Uh, moving around to the table, mm -hmm. Councillor McNeil. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'd like to declare an insignificant non-pecuniary interest in my 
but it's 11.3.3. Um, again, we look at that green scheme and 11.1.4 AGL friendly agreement um, on the quality of AGL. And um, there's contributions from AGL um, on both those items. However, um, with conversations with the Department of Government, um, in my role, um, my interpretation of it is insignificant. I'm happy to take advice from the general manager. The needs and minimum pecuniary and non pecuniary interests are those of the individual. So, change that declaration to the significant. Significant. Um, any other? No, you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Any other? I thought all my Christmas was coming out the right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can we have another of that? <laughs> 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 Sorry, he's taking back by the Sorry, Councillor Dunn. Yes, Councillor Dunn. I would like to um, mention three. Less than significant non procurement interest. First one is 11.11, .11, uh, the Granny Flat DA double, gar double garage and driveway. Uh, the gentleman concerned is a friend of my husband's. Uh, the next one is 11.1.7, the sustainability grants, one of the um, applications is from the school that I'm employed at. And the third is 11.3.5, the Diwali Festival sponsorship request. Um, I work with that as one of the committee members, and I, I have suggested contacting council. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Dunn. Councillor Douglas. 11.1.4, page 149, the finalization of AGL Adele planning agreement. I declare a cumulative interest AGL supply funding to the LAC where I am employed. No problem. And uh, I have. Uh, Property in place 11.3.3, the Olympic Park Grandstand projects funding. Uh, we're undertaking a filming, and it's just the location. So, for the purpose of this meeting, it's insignificant, though I'm disclosing it. So, moving right along to uh, Mayor and Winnett, there is Neil, public uh, participation. There's Neil, business arising from previous minutes. There is Neil. Brings us along to 11.1.1. We have the resolution there in relation to DA 2023-48 Granny Flat Double Garage and Driveway at 11 Oakley Street, Denman. Hang on two seconds. Of There's a resolution there. The council approves DA 2348 for the construction of a secondary dwelling double garage and an associated driveway at 11 Ogilvy Street, Denman, lot 1DB 306325, subject to conditions, and two delegates the settling of conditions to the general manager. Moved move by Councillor Marshall, seconded by Councillor Douglas. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carried if someone can grab it. Councillor 11.1.2 Preparation and Development Control Plan for 9036 New England Highway Muscle Book. There's a recommendation there the Council adopts the draft development control plan chapter for 9036 New England Highway Muscle Book. Yeah, Councillor Marshall, seconded anyone? Yes. Councillor Lecky, any discussion? Oh. All those in favour, please raise a hand. Yeah. Just clear that unanimous and carry. 11.1.3, finalisation finalization of Darbrook Mining plan, uh, Planning Agreement. Council resolves, as a resolution, Council resolves to finalise the planning agreement in attachment A by delegating the general manager authority to sign the agreement. Councillor Drayton, seconded by Councillor Lecky. Uh, any discussion? <coughs> yeah, just if um, you could have Council staff speak to 
Dartmoor Pond, spread the Dartmoor Pond in relation, particularly in relation to the apprentices, um, the, the two apprentices anyway, Tom and you two, um, and whether we can put a program through the school, uh, the Muscle Require School, and whether we can put some sort of program through the school to uh, select those apprentices each year or when, whenever it may be, um, to make sure, of course, they're, they're local kids, but you know, to do a bit of work in the school beforehand, and those kids understand what they might be into in for in the mining industry, particularly young, that being um, an underground mine, which is more unusual, so I think you have to give them an idea on, on what the, a career like that might be. So just a quick one, that was um, specifically Musselbrook High School? Yes, yes. It's only high school, we have in secondary school. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, um, with that motion, all those in favour, please raise your hand. Declare that unanimous and carried. 11.1.4, finalisation of the AGL Liddell planning agreement. Oh, so Recommend, recommendation, I have to read it out first, yeah. the governance. The council resolves to finalise the planning agreement in attachment A by delegating the general manager authority to sign the agreement, moved by Councillor Skulls, seconded by oh, Councillor thanks. Marshall, or seconded by Councillor Bowditch. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the delay there. Uh, anyone, any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. <laughs> It's just a dispute puzzle or something. 11.1.5 PP 020 Administrative <clears throat> Amendment Removal of Heritage Item 112 Lost awesome Brickworks Post Exhibition Report. Um, it was one endorsed the planning proposal as exhibited and included in the attachment one to this report. Two make the planning in accordance with section nine, uh, three point three six of the Environmental Planning and Assessment Act nineteen seventy nine consistent with the gateway determination. Three forward a copy of the council resolution and planning proposal as exhibited to the parliamentary council's office and the Department of Planning and Environment to give effect to the planning proposal. That's so good. So moved by Councillor Skulls, seconded by Councillor Lecky. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. Just making note to um, a prior discussion with Councillor Bowditch to follow up those items mentioned. Yes, thank you, Mr Mayor. 11.1.6. Uh, watering and maintenance of seedlings along Muscle Creek. There's a recommendation the council notes the information contained in the report. Thank you to staff for putting that together. Moved by Councillor Woodruff and seconded by Councillor McNeil. Any discussion? Uh, all those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.1.7 Sustainability Grants. Sorry. Recommendation there that Council one approves the following sustainable education grants. A Sandy Hollow Public School in 2020, $2,427.43. B Musselbrook Preschool and Kindergarten, $1,650. Musselbrook South Public School, $2,500. Denman Pony Club, $921.02. Two Council approves. A water refill station grant for Musselbrook Preschool and Kindergarten for $2,500. Uh, and three council approves the following land care grant, Lake Waddell Recreation Area Reserve Land Manager, $800. Moved by Councillor Dan Douglas, seconded by Councillor Marshall. All those in favour, please raise a hand. Clear that unanimous and carry. Eleven point one point eight. Monthly report to council, planning and environment and regulatory services. The recommendation there is the information contained in this report be noted. No, uh, moved by Councillor Woodruff, seconded by Councillor Marshall. Any discussion? 
All those in favour, please raise your hand. Say that unanimously and carry. 11.2.1 Recycled Water Policy MSC 23E for adoption. The council adopts the attached recycled water policy. I'll so move. Moved by Council Skull, seconded by Councillor Woodruff. Any discussion? Just one question. Yes. Um, maybe in the report, but I couldn't find it. Is there a target for the um, the quality of the recycled water? Is, it, is it a number or a measurement? Does the council strive? Yes. Thank you very much, Councillor Neil. Um, there is a there is a definite target, Councillor Neil. It's uh, associated with the Australian recycled water guidelines. Um, so that that target is the target that council needs to meet. Um, uh, consistently, yeah, there's a, so, there's several levels of allocated what water can be for different things. Speak to you, no. Speak to you, no. I mentioned that I might guess you're right. Bi biological, whatever it is. Thank you, Mr. Seconded. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Uh, that unanimous and carried. 11.2.2 Fogo Education and Communication Status Report. Council notes the progress of the FOGO communications and education activities. Absolutely. Moved by Councillor Scholes, seconded by Councillor Woodruff. Any discussion? Yes. Councillor Scholes. Sorry. Oh, I just can't, as, as I mentioned in the briefing, living this for eight, nine years on Council. It's great to see we're finally there. And I know the Council officers listen to what we're talking about with regards to the thing. And I do commend the Council officers with regards to the program that they've developed to actually educate the community should bring them along with us as opposed to lecture term and a lot. Skulls, anyone else? Councillor Woodruff. Yes, thank you. Carried. 11.2.3, the construction of replacement for sewer pumping station one, Musselbrook. Uh, yeah, there's a resolution that council approves the replacement of Musselbrook sewer pumping station one MSPS one Sydney Street must have to be carried out over fiscal years 2023 to 2024 and 2024 to 2025 and two reallocating 1.1 million from solar array capital project funds at the recycled water treatment works and 900,000 from the section 64 reserve into a sewer capital project budget for the replacement of MSPS one with a budget budget of 2 million. Again, I'll say Sorry, second. moved by Councillor Skull, second by Councillor Bowditch. Any discussion? Yes. Um, just with regards to the allocation of funds and where the funds are coming from, with regards to um, it's mentioned in the array and then in the next item after this, the, the array is mentioned again as still within the, the capital works. In the briefing, the general manager did um, indicate to us that he believed that there's all money will be allocated with regards to reduction in prices with regards to the array. Can we get a confirmation, formal confirmation that that money at, is there and that the process as you explained us with regards to being had the money to do both both jobs does exist and will happen that way. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Thank you, Councillor Scholes. Yes, that's correct, Councillor Scholes. Um, fortunately, the intended price for the solar array is much less than council staff expected. And so we're expecting the savings to be made to be made available to also fund the part fund the replacement of MSPS1. So we'll be able to carry out both projects. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, been seconded by Council Bowdish, but is there any other discussion? No. All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.2.4 Water and Waste Water Capital Works Prioritised Projects 2023 to 2024. The Council approves the attached prioritised list of 2023-2024 Water and Waste Water Capital Works Project to the limit of the approved funding under the various programs. I'll send it again. Moved by Council Stiles, second by Council Woodruff. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise your hand. Clear that you then and carry it. 11.3.1 Hossam Gully easement affecting lot 12 DP 232742. Um, the council authorises the general manager to finalise the easement for drainage for lot 12 DP 232742 
and execution of documents. Councillor Marshall and Councillor Douglas, uh, any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.3.2, Musselbrook Town Centre Plan Draft Program and Budget Allocation. Council endorses the preliminary draft Musselbrook Town Centre Plan Staging Delivery Program and Draft Musselbrook Town Centre Plan Budget Allocations to inform the Australian Government Priority Community Infrastructure Program, PCIB, for the delivery of the Musselbrook Town Centre Plan. Councillor Woodruff, Councillor Marshall, uh, any discussion? I'd just like to thank Matt and the team for the brilliant um, job done. Yeah. Thank you. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Uh, 11.3.3, the Olympic Park Grand Centre Amenities Projects and Funding. Council 1 endorses the budget. That's and good news to me. Uh, on the basis that I was convicted for the, um, the other one, I'll be convicted for this because there was an allocation from 200k to the BPL. Okay. Council 1 endorses the budgets and funding allocations for the Olympic Park precinct upgrade to inform Council's grant application under the Australian Government Priorities Community Infrastructure Program for the delivery of the Olympic Park grandstand and to request a review and upgrade of the capital expenditure review of the Olympic Park precinct upgrade to be carried out. Question First of all, if I can. Uh, We've got an unexpected to be spot on thing. We've got a, a round event figure out about how much council money has been expended in there or will be is planned to be expended at the I understand a lot of this grant money. How much how much council money is planned to be expended in the Olympic Park? Uh, Thanks for uh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Mayor. Thanks very much, Councillor Brayton. Uh, I've asked the director properly in place to provide a response if possible, please. Yes. Thanks, Councillor Drayton. I, um, the, this was project was part of the special rate period for 2019. The total fund will um, be raised in the capital allocation is 4.8 million. Just concerned about concerns in the report. Of, it's not the first time I've shared those concerns that, that just here at the moment that my words, or you, you would have heard it before, that we're knocking a perfectly good grandstand down to build a brand new grandstand for eight, over $8 million. Um, I think the community would struggle to support a brand new grandstand and the expenditure of $8 million, or we don't understand how the rate variations work. But I've just, just got a real issue with, with the fact that you know, too, too much, certainly too much council money when we discuss all the other all the other issues we have going on, knocking down the grandstand that I say, well, in fact, it is it's the best grandstand, the best facility in the upper hundred already, um, but we're going to knock it down and spend $8 million on the new one. Take that on board. Um, as you know, it's part of the. We can provide the overall um, documentation from the SRB, what was committed, uh, and what stage two was a requirement. So, um, uh, yeah, Mr. Mayor, I think um, we really do look, need to look at the wording because all, all all of it seems to be hanging off one particular word: replacement. Yeah, well, that's just what we're doing. Interpretation of what that's replacement what is means. expenditure review. Yeah, because yeah. replacement. I um, don't necessarily think it means to knock down and start again. I think you're we'll, yeah, the motion's there to take to undertake the review, but I would interpret the replacement as to be what it is. So yeah. Um, so there's a motion there for the review and upgrade um, to be under Request for a review and upgrade of the capital expenditure to be undertaken uh, as item two. Someone to move that way. Yeah. Moved by Councillor Marshall, seconded by any other councillor second it, Councillor Woodruff. All those in favour, please raise a hand. One, two, three, four, five. All those against? One, two, three, four, five. I guess that means the man with casting votes, so the review will under be undertaken. Sorry, can I just that, that, that also what you just you only read out then request a review. Oh. That's not the recommendation. The recommendation also is endorse the budgets. 
Yes, no, that is correct. That's what I read out first. And then I said, but it also does have in there that the request, the review. Okay, so that's your, your you just cast your vote on, on that office, officer's recommendation. That officer's recommendation. It's not so, just the part two, the whole No, thing. no, the whole okay. thing. Yeah. Okay, so that motion is carried. Um, moving on to 11 point. Eleven point three point four, uh, Denman Public School fee waiver. Council approves the partial waivering for higher fees requested by Denman Public School and will only charge for the hire of the Denman Memorial Hall for the performance conducted 19th of September 2023, which will result in a total charge to the Denman Public School of $529.50 inclusive GST. Now that's the one resolution that I've got. No. Council moved by Councillor Leckie, second by Councillor Woodruff. Uh, any discussion? All those in favour, please raise your hand. Declare that unanimously carried. Eleven three point five. The Diwali Festival sponsorship request. Um, there is a re recommendation there. The council approves a thousand dollars, including GST sponsorship, for the local Diwali Festival to be held at the Upper Hunter Conservatorium of Music, uh, Campbell's Corner, on Saturday, twenty eighth of October, twenty twenty three. Councillor Douglas, Councillor Lecky. Oh, sorry, Councillor Bowditch was on screen. Moved by Councillor Douglas, second by Councillor Bowditch. All those in favour, please. Any, okay, and discussion. Oh, I just all I want to say it's uh, I think it's a great, great thing that's happening, and it's a recognition of the large um, subcontinent population we now have residing in the show. Which you happen to take council and margins advice and have a look. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> did you take our council margins recommendation to have a look on? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, what you're doing, but a bit more about what it is. All, right. <coughs> all those in favour, please raise a hand. Clear that unanimously and carried. Eleven point three point six, the major status report. There's a recommendation the council notes the information contained in the report. Yes. Just um through you, Mr. Mayor, Mr. GM, where, where are we at in regard to planning for the new uh, works depot, please? Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Mayor. Thanks so much, Councillor Woodruff. Uh, would you like to ask the question, please? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, Councillor Woodruff and Councillors, uh, we're about to go for a principal design consultant um, to take the project through a few details. That includes development, second development. And that will come back to council for approval, council. Yeah, probably the November council meeting. Any further? Happy move it. Moved by councillor Woodruff, seconded by councillor Marshall. Any further discussion? All of those in favour, please raise a hand. Clear that unanimous and carry. Eleven point four point one: fixing day and hour of regular council meeting. There's a resolution there, the council one, ordinary meetings of council, ordinary meetings of council be held in the training room, level two, University of Newcastle, Upper Hunter Campus, 87 Hill Street, Musselbrook from 6 to 9 p.m. on the fourth Tuesday of each calendar month. Two, a pre-meeting briefing session for councillors to be held from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. immediately prior to each ordinary meeting on the fourth Tuesday of each calendar month. Three, as the fourth Tuesday, in December 2023, before on the Boxing Day for public holiday, the meeting be scheduled for 20 for Tuesday, the 9th of December 2023, and be held in the Denman Memorial Hall. Uh, the order, number four, the ordinary council meeting scheduled for the 20, Tuesday, the 21st, the 4th of October 2023, be held in Sandy Hollow, and the ordinary council meeting scheduled for the 23rd of July 2024 to be held in Denman Memorial Hall. 
and want to move that way. Moved by Councillor Marshall, seconded by, sorry, Councillor Drayton. All those in favour? Right hand to declare that unanimous and carried. 11.4.2, recruitment of Chief Financial Officer and Information and Communications Technology Manager. Uh, it's a recommendation that the council approves carrying out recruitment to the following three positions, Chief Financial Officer, Information and Communications, Tele uh, Communications Technology Manager, and three Staff Training and Professional Development Trainer, uh, Development Officer. The above is subject to a sustainable structure savings being made through the September budget review process so that the positions can be funded on a full time basis. Moved by Councillor Woodruff, seconded by Councillor Lecky. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.4.3 Register of Pecuniary Interests. Uh, the Resolution there, the tabling of the register of pecuniary interest for the period of 30th of the 6th, 2022 to the 30th of the 6th, 2023 be noted. Councillor Lecky, second by Councillor Woodruff. All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimously carried. 11.4.4, authorisation under section 226 of the Local Government Act. Council notes the information provided in the report. Someone happy to do that way. Councillor Bowditch, Councillor Mahajan. Uh, all those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.4.5 Sandy Hollow Motor Fest sponsorship request. Council approves the request from the Sandy Hollow Motor Fest 2023 for sponsorship of 2,500 to cover the cost of waste services and development application fees. Councillor Neil and Councillor Douglas. Any discussion? Just while I was having a great day. Very successful. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.4.6 Procurement Policy, Muscle Shire Council 01E for adoption. Council adopts the procurement policy attached to the report. Councillor Woodruff. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to add a further that be reviewed in 12 months for either the discussions in um, Australian manufacturers and no. So that'll become top two. Yeah. We've got that up on the screen, sorry. Good. Sorry, what was the second part? Um, policies reviewed after 12 months to include. Australia. Australia. Australia made a local podcast. You can just start what the policy is from the contents alone. Everybody's aware of it. It's good. 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 Um, 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 you want like what you have been here? Okay. Okay. You happy with that, Councillor Woodruff? Someone second that I'll second amendment. Point. Councillor Skulls, any discussion? All that. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just um clarification. I know it was talked about in the briefing session, but I'm quite understanding where where the local percentage will vary from five percent, how that how that occurs. Yeah. <laughs> manager. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, Councillor Now, In relation to the local procurement or local local uh, service providers, um, the minimum percentage is five percent. Um, but we have increased it, I believe, to uh, fifth, I have to check this, Councillor, but I think it's 15%, whereas before it was 10%. So it ranged from 5 to 10. I think it's been increased now. Is it? That's correct. Yeah. So the minimum is five if we if we if we include that in the in the in the criteria um, to a maximum of 15 at the moment, I understand. Supplementary question. So 
what determines whether it's five or 15? Is it the product? Is it other conditions? It's the, the criteria is based on the, the assessment that there is a local provider available. That is really the, the assessment. So um, if we know there is a local provider available, we will increase the, the percentage. Do you mind, councillors, please? I will just check, just in case I'm incorrect, I will just check, check that percentage and just send an email out to all councillors, just confirming that in case I'm wrong. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Um, any further discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. Um, brings us to the draft public interest disclosure. Policy must make sure council for public exhibition. Council one, council approves the attached draft public interest disclosure policy to be placed on public exhibition by council's website for a period of 28 days. And two, a further report be submitted to council for consideration of submissions received during the exhibition period. Someone to move that way. Councillor Woodruff and Councillor Marshall. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise your hand. That unanimous and carry. 11.4.8 return to work policy S25 slash 3 S25 slash 36 for rescission. Council rescinds the return to work policy. Councillor Woodruff moves that way. Councillor Marshall seconds. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.4.9 Community Satisfaction Survey. Council notes the attachment 2023 Community Satisfaction Survey report. Someone to move that to motion. Councillor Woodruff. Seconded by Councillor Douglas. All those in favour, any discussion? All those in favour, raise your hand, please. Declare that unanimous and carried. 2020 11.4.10 2022-2023 operational plan the 30th of June 2023 quarterly review. Council notes that 2022-2023 operational plan for the fourth quarter. Oh, Moved by Councillor Scales, seconded by Councillor Mahajan. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Clear that unanimous and carry. 11.4.11. .11. Monthly financial reports, August 2023. Council notes the financial reports for the month ending the 31st of August 2023. Moved by Councillor Mahajan, second by Councillor Leckie. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 11.4.12 uh, reports on investments held as at 31st of August 2023. Council notes Council's investments as at the 31st of August 2023. Councillor Scholes, Councillor Lecky. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Clear that unanimous carry. 11.5 Community and Economy, 11.5.1 .1, Australia 2024 Community Awards Criteria and Guidelines. Council endorses one, the inclusion of the North Oak Agricultural Awards in the 2024 Australia Day Awards categories. Two, the amendment of the 2024 Australia Day Award guidelines to read the Australia Day Nominations Committee will consist of all councillors. And three, the 2024 Australia Day Award nomination period to be from the 9th of October 2023 to the 30th of November 2023. Someone, like our councillor Lecky and sorry, my councillor Bowditch. Um, question. Yeah. Um, Discussion. Just well, could I formally have it reported? Because I'm not sure um, my fellow council is actually aware of where the naming of this particular thing comes from and the basis behind it. And I think that should we put that onto the from the council officers, put that on the record tonight. I think that would uh, be a good idea and then, because they won't understand what North Oak means. Yes, I think it would be described in the description of the award from my understanding. From but I other. think it should be should be described in the council tonight. What the actual, why it's called that, and where the source of the source of any funds that have contributed to it come from. Would you like to throw that out now, Councillor Scholes? Yeah, I just think it should go on the record. Well, we can put it in the minutes, we can put it in the minutes if you like. Is that yes. Right? Yep, so thank you very much. You okay, Mr. Mayor? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. 
So who, sorry, who moved? Let's count to Jeff yeah. move and yeah, I'm second and I think. All those in favour, please raise a hand. Carried. 11.5.2. Oh, Australia Aquatic Centre membership discount for September. Yeah, Council approved. I've got to read through it. Sorry, guys. Approves a 20% discount being made available to the community during the months of September and October 2023 for annual and upfront memberships. Second, moved by Councillor Woodruff, seconded by Councillor McNeil. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Clear that unanimous and carry. It's all right. Probably not watching. Okay, 11.5.3. Request for council of representatives to the New South Wales Public Libraries Association. Uh, council appoints. We need a council appointed as the council's representative to the New South Wales Public Libraries Association. Do we have a nomination? I'll move Councillor Leck. I'll second. Councillor Leck, you have to accept that. Second by Councillor. Any other nominations? Okay, um, put that motion. All those in favour, please raise a hand. Third, uh, unanimous and carried. 11.5.4, the Musselbrook Regional Arts Centre Management Policy, Musselbrook MSC 051E for adoption. One, Council adopts the attached Musselbrook Regional Arts Centre Management Policy and two, rescinds the three superseded art gallery policies, one being the aims and objectives of Musselbrook Regional Arts Centre, two, the Musselbrook Shire Art Collection and Decession, the Accessing Policy, sorry, getting that in that, and three, the Musselbrook Shire Art Collection Management Policy. Councillor Bauer, oh, Councillor Woodruff, and Councillor Skulls. Uh, any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Did you have raise your hand, sorry, Daryl? Yeah, yeah, I did. Sorry. Yeah. Councillor Skulls, all those in favour, declare that in carry community services. The information 11.5.5, the information contained in this report be noted. Comment. Yes. I would just like to thank all the staff from the community services because if you read that report, there's a lot of work that's been done um, and how they're working with young people as well. Um, it really shines through in this report, so I just want to thank the staff for that. You don't have to move that way. You have to move that way, Councillor Douglas. Yes. I'll say second. Jennifer second. Yeah. Councillor Lecky second. I'd yeah. just like my comments to drop my with regards to one of the projects. Small projects at Tango Park, which is the communication screen that's going up on the uh, in the marketplace, which will be a rolling screen, which is identifying all the organisations in town, contact details, and what they're doing. Um, uh, I think it's a, a, a great initiative as well, and uh, because it's one of the things people always say, "Well, I didn't know that was here, but I didn't know that existed. Where do I go with that?" And this is going to be a great opportunity. They actually thought it was there. Okay. All right. All right. Um, those that's been moved and seconded. Um, been discussion. All those in favour, please raise a hand. So that unanimous and carried. Uh, Twelve minutes of committee meetings. The 12.1 Olympic Park Precinct Development Advisory Committee for the 26th of June 2023 and 5th of September 2023. The minutes for the Olympic Park Precinct Development Committee meeting held on the 26th of June 2023 and the 5th of September 2023 be noted. Just a question if I could from, especially from a councillor who attended, um, from a councillor that was, that was in attendance, and the, the minutes don't tell us a lot, so obviously you wouldn't put everything in the minutes. I'm just concerned that we're talking about a $15 million project here. As a councillor, when I read those minutes, I to find out what's going on with that. That yeah. then, it doesn't give me anything. It tells me there was two motions voted on and nothing else, nothing further. And it's a, it's not a, you know, it's a committee now dealing with a fifteen billion dollar project. Or total, sorry, yeah. it's eight billion dollars. Yeah. 
with millions of dollars. Living back. I don't think the council's position is that we need to have a can't it's not rely if you're not here at a meeting, yeah. Councillor McNeil, we don't necessarily get the information. So I think what we're saying is that the, yeah. the, the, the reports we get on our council document should be a true reflection of the yeah, so that, that clarification. All I, was, that, all I was saying is that we're, we're dealing with a committee here that's dealing with millions and millions of dollars in a project worth lots and lots of money, as we've discussed. And you see earlier with the way the motion was voted on, it's fairly divided. Council's opinion in the room. It's really difficult for us moving forward to make the decision when that's the minutes. That's I don't attend the meetings. I'm not on the committee. When that's the information that I get to make decisions moving forward on such an important, such a big spend, an important project. I think on all meetings moving forward, we'll have to have a including the regional entertainment centre uh, and provide it further information. Thanks for that, Councillor Drayton. So we'll take that on board. But Thank all, you. Yeah. All questions now. That that thing is recorded, isn't it? Yes, Councillor. Yes. I'm happy to move that and speak to it in the report or speak to it now if you, if you wish to speak to it now, that's fine. Um, no, I'm conflicted. conflicted. <laughs> you are. Did you let the reason why I got conflicted? Did you get the reason? Hence the problem. Yes, yeah, hence the problem. And he's still on committee if you conflicted. Well, I'll, I'll ask that. I, Contacted the, the Department of Local Government, and my interpretation of their advice is that I'm such a small cognitive leader, I'm on an award, I'm, it's insignificant in my level of confidence back on the advice of the general manager, I'll remove myself at this, at this particular meeting. Um, was, so, sorry to clarify, that was me saying that it's up to the individual. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So it have been a bit of a pickle. You are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Well, we'll start. I'll start by saying that this this committee has been running for um, a good length of time. You can see by the, the attendees, that it's got some very um, strong characters on the committee. So, firstly, I'd like to con congratulate the new chair of the committee, Amanda Barry, but also the general manager for their moderating. Um, abilities with this committee. There's a lot of competing interests. There's different user groups, um, and it can get, um, once I heated, but the strength of the debate can get quite um, elevated. Um, but at the moment, um, we are in a situation where. It's the moment, Council McNeil. I have to say to because I've got that, uh, I just want to make it the non pecuniary interest. In relation to that, same as the point two, which is because I can stay here. So that's yeah. Uh, so, other than to go through the whole meeting from recollection, I'll just concentrate on the main points. And that's as per the item that was listed earlier. Um, it's a non contestable grant that, um, which was the purpose of the last item. And I'm very grateful that that got through because we are fighting time. Fighting the time with inflation, um, inflationary pressures have met. This has been delayed already, um, and I, I can um, inform you that um, submissions had to go to the Crown, to the JRPP. The Crown had, had uh, numerous questions, technical questions around the submissions on the, the plan of management, the Olympic Park, but also just things like the term restaurant instead of the kiosk. So a lot of they had to go back and forth, and that's costing us a lot of time. With time, there's inflationary pressures, uh, and whether we can actually now um, meet the scope of work uh, with the, the budget allocations that are available um, is problematic. Um, another hot topic of the, of the meeting is always the fence, um, and we elected. Is this the fence? Committee. fence. From the fence the of separation number three. Yeah, the, the, the fence was in the original plans, which you'd be well aware of because you were at those meetings. No, I was. That, that it was. went down the, um, the center of the field. It was a point of high contention. It, it actually segregated field three from field one and two. Um, it was an unanimous uh, position from the committee 
to have the fins removed from the from the planes on the scope because they do want a new fence around the whole precinct. Um, there is discussions about the position of the roundabout. The roundabout is not uh, located, uh, as far as the use group is concerned, in exactly the right position or in exactly the position that they were led to believe that it was um, to be located. But uh, council staff um, um, explained the, the actual civil requirements which you would understand and you would understand, but I trust the council's opinion on that. And the roundabout had to be where the roundabout had to be. Roundabout's in the most right. Um, yeah. on the bridge could never be in the middle. Well, like I said, I'm just pulling up memory. What's the other the main topics? The other big topic that was discussed is the coordination of all the user activities during the construction phase. So there's a lot of um, questions and debate as to what can proceed, could proceed now um, and not affect the, um, I guess, the use of the ground. But Paul uh, articulated his point very well, and so did Matt, that um, basically it's got to be a closed shop, job lot, can't re like the, do it. A revamping of field three's um, surface and then have the, that be a, it's a major storage area for the contractors building the the, the Olympic Park grandstand. Um, so they they were quite satisfied with those explanations that you really have to um, make a point in time and that's when Olympic Park is handed over to the, the contractors. And then the, the hard work, the work for them in scheduling all their, their um, activities that normally are carried out on that ground at other locations. But I guess the main point was what you just voted on was that is that that grant is is although it is um, promised, it's not in the bank. The longer the time. Progresses, I guess the risk of losing that um, escalates. So the fact that we've got that that um, that passed, I think, is a, is, a, is a really positive thing. And I guess just to bring it to it, is that now moving forward, the more detailed minutes need to be. One hundred percent, and that's definitely for council joint. I'm glad that they're still discussing that fence five years later. That bloody fence, nothing fence five years later, it's still talking about. Um, okay, so someone to move that motion. Yeah, I move that. Move. Someone second that motion. Councillor Marshall, any further discussion? Knowing that we will have to have more in depth meetings for both of those committees. Not I'd just like to voice my opinion and say right. that councils, as councils, I believe should be allowed to 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 um, be at, at those meetings. Well, I, I take no, no voting, like no it's, comments. It's actually the, 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 I understand what it's like, but it's a, a very robust and yeah. without any interference with the length and staff's time. But yeah, we can increase it by one or two voting members. But um, yeah, I right. don't think Council Marks would ask him for voting. No, we, no, he's just no. waiting for a letter to attend. If that's, if that's the way, if that's the way it has to be, I will on the yeah. top of the committee. Because no. I understand that, yes, you have to have meaning and, and um, you want to restrict the amount of voting and all that sort of thing. I think it's more the discussion in the league. More language. just listening to the discussion. Yeah. Because I've learned a lot tonight. We would never have learned. Take that on board. I've done it. All those in favour, please raise your hand. hand. So that unanimous and carried. Uh, 12.2, the State Significant Development Committee for the 14th of August 2023 and 11th of September 2023. Also moved. Moved by Councillor. Minutes to be noted um, and seconded by Council Lecky. Any discussion? All those in favour, please raise a hand. Clear that unanimously. 12.3 Financial Review Advisory Committee. 
um, 15th of August 2023, the notes be noted, Councillor of Rowett and Arjun and Councillor of Lecky. Um, for any discussion, all those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 12.4, the Industrial Closures Committee for the 16th of August 2023, that these minutes be noted. So moved. Moved by Councillor Skulls, seconded by Councillor Woodruff. For those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimous and carry. 12.5, the Local Traffic Committee from the 12th of September 2023. Um, the minutes for the Local tra Traffic Committee yeah. meeting on the, held on the 12th of September be noted. Get moved by Councillor Mark Bowditch, seconded by Councillor Darrell Marshall. All those in favour, please raise a hand. There that um, the matter is carried. 12.6, the Events Steering Committee, there's just a notation for a, a, a date error in the minutes. Is that correct? Councillor Dunn? No, that was uh, great. Great. That's, what that's what we're, that's Oh, sorry, events, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Events, yeah. Councillor Drayton, Councillor yeah. Lecky, all those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare the and carry. 12.7, the grants meeting for the 14th of September 2023. And there's a, a the change of date, yeah. The amendment from the, amendment. the March in those yeah. business. July, I think it was. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Moved by Councillor Doug, uh, Dunn, Dunn, seconded by Councillor Marshall. All those in favour, please raise a hand. Declare that unanimously carried. 13.1, the notice of motion that we've had in writing. Sorry, we had that up one first. Sorry, did we go, Councillor? It's a separate document. That's OK. 13.1, the transition from hydrocarbon based industries. Do you wish to speak to this briefly, yes, Councillor? Thank you, Mr. Baird. Um, as I uh, said in an email, I'd like to put um, this motion. I said that I would be um, very happy to take the amendments or suggestions, and I had a number of those with Councillor Drake and Councillor Skulls, Councillor Marshall. Um, so I have prepared an amendment um, okay. yep, based around that. But I guess the due process is this one has to be. You can move an amendment. You can move an amendment. Okay. I'd move an amendment that, um, well, I'll give you the, the feedback from Councillor Drake is that he was um, not so sure that we should reference the, uh, the royalties. Um, Councillor Skulls, had, had, had thought it was problematic to, to collaborate with Singleton Council. Council Marshall said that the, the motion is not succinct or concise enough. So I've formulated a, uh, a motion around that advice, which reads Council advice to the relevant state and federal ministers and um, requests a meeting to discuss and formulate an economic roadmap for LGA. Um, post coal mining and thermal power station. Can I? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> can I just before you do that, can I get you to put an S on your meeting word? An S. Yep. Because you, you won't meet now. We're going we're to either get one meeting or not, but we might we might be meeting. Press meetings to discuss. the whole new motion will come up on the screen the councils to read. Simplified version. Simplified. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Councillor, would you, could you read that for me, please? <laughs> Councillor writes to the relevant state and federal ministers requesting meetings to discuss and formulate an economic roadmap for our LDA, post coal mining and thermal power generation. Someone happy to second that motion? Second by Council Marshall. Anyone, any discussion? Okay. Yes. One. What's it? Two of the uh, my, my logic there was um, the economic impact. Single is currently doing quite well because it can't be subdivision and everything within them. So when it comes to income, rate income, and all the rest of it, they're nowhere near impacting directly the way we are. So when we talk transition, they're going to be in the same boat as us as far as transition. They transition from mining communities to non-mining communities. Yeah, that's true. Stealth in numbers. But, the other thing I read, read was it was tying us to them. It doesn't mean from that we can go walk down, try and organise it together. But the the motion said we had to do it with them. No, just just and, and if, if we take them out of the motion, so just it doesn't mean you have to do it with back them. Back to structure. So, are you yeah. wanting to make an amendment, or are you? <laughs> well, I'm suggesting, Mr. Mayor, that we collaborate on so many things. And it's both their communities are going to be impacted and their residents. So, not necessarily with them, but the joint forces in a general yeah. and, and, and goal, I think, is a good thing rather than. Yeah. But my, my point was when you put it in the motion, it means you have to do it with them. Oh. And yeah, if you I don't put it in the motion, you don't <laughs> have to do it with them, you can do it without them. Or you can do it with them, but once you put it in the motion, you, you prescribe it. That's what I'm That's the intent, I think. The yeah. intent is no, being? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, if any, are you happy with that amendment? So, Councillor Woodruff seconding it. Councillor Marshall, sorry. Councilor. All those in favour, please raise a hand. So that unanimous and carried. Uh, which brings us to. The rescission motion 13.2. Uh, there's a amendment to state planning policy. One is resolution 7 of uh, 22nd of August 2023, ordinary council meeting to be rescinded. And two, in consultation with councillors and key stakeholders, the general manager is instructed to prepare an advocacy strategy requesting the New South Wales government to undertake a review of the state environmental planning policy, gov policy resources and energy 2021 resources set with the aim of introducing terms in the resources set that promote local employment and incentives for employees to live locally. Uh, royalty increases Royalty increase is to be allocated proportionately to our LGAs that fund this transition. That's erroneous, Mr. Mayor, the last sentence. Okay. Sorry, I think. Sorry, that's probably my bad. No, that's no, no. okay. Okay, sorry about that. So excluding that. Excluding that. It that, should be locked up on the screen. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have that. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that promote local employment and incentives for employees to live locally being the final sentence. Yes. Yes. Someone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll like second it. All of those, any further discussion? All those in favour, please raise your hand. Clear that unanimous and carry. Written questions. Sorry, councillor reports. And councillor reports. I yes, Councillor Lecky. Well, thanks. I had an absolutely wonderful time at the Denman Public School uh, dancing through the ages. They had Charleston, which is one dance I haven't done, but the rest of them were all my 40s, 50s, 60s. I think I wasn't doing the 40s, but it was an absolutely brilliant, brilliant performance. And what I really thought was magnificent was the way that hall was used. It just, they'd taken all the seats sort of back and that, and it was just magic. So we don't have anywhere really for those sort of performances. And I thought that was just over the top. And the other thing, um, I think the library put on 
uh, Bill Spicer did a book on lamplighting in Musselbrook in the 1900s, and it was really wonderful. I really enjoyed that. Uh, uh, he's written two books about the lamplighting, and it's very wonderful mornings. Which is really wonderful. And I've done some other ones as well. But that's yeah. about it. I also attended the um, also attended the Demon Public School um, by the ages or whatever school, and uh, I couldn't not believe kids just like performing just absolutely in sync, so unreal, nice. very good day, yeah. afternoon. Any other council reports? No. Thank you, councillors. Uh, Brings us along to the little questions. It says there's nil and 16 questions for the next meeting. No. Oh, yes, Councillor. Oh, Bell. sorry, is this question there yeah, without notice? Questions for the next meeting, yes. But, uh, hang on, there's a bit, hang on, um, sorry. Sorry, I've been given a piece of paper. Sorry, I've got to go back to 15 here. There's a. You'll do 15 one. One's not on this sheet. Um, right. Monitoring and maintenance of council's trees and shrubs, assets, newly planted and semi-established. Councillor McNeil supplied the question. Are you happy with council's response? Yeah, thanks. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the reports, etc. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, the general manager, Councillor Scholes and Councillor Marshall for reaching out to um, get an understanding of my concerns. I'll just say that I think with trees, I've grown my own trunk with grown hundreds of them. You've got to save them early if you want to save them. Thank you. The motion is that the information contained in this report be noted, so you're happy to move that motion. Yeah. Seconded. I'll second. Councillor Skulls. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Declare that unanimous. This brings us on to questions for next meeting. Item 16, Councillor Bowditch. Um, yes, Mr. Mayor, through yourself, through the general manager and the chair. Can council look at with uh, with the season and all the publications around what this season and everything's going to be? Can council we have a look at? Um, Looking at a uh, at some sort of policy for our emergency services personnel um, for all their free time, have a discount of some sort for their land rates that they do for all the services they do protecting us. Uh, we we can take this uh, on notice as well and provide. Essentially, uh, thank you. Thanks, oh, yeah. I can't see Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thanks so much, Councillor Bowditch. We do liaise with our emergency services regularly. Um, if they would like to, then probably the best thing for them to do is to write to Council requesting that, please, Councillor Bowditch. We can raise them yep. with them at the next LENC, um, local emergency management committee meeting, but it hasn't been raised with us to date in any in any form. But we can, if, you, if, you, if that's Council's wish, we can certainly raise that with them. Yeah, I just think with the work that they do and, and saving our properties and other things, I think it's something that we could do to give back to the emergency services for the free time that they offer. Thanks, Councillor. What, what we'll do is we'll speak with them if they'd like to make a request, we'll do that in writing, and that'll come back to yep. Councillors for resolution. Thanks, Thank thanks very much. Councillor Bowditch, thank you. Next questions for the, questions for the next meeting at all? Anyone? No, which brings us on to the German into closed council. I uh, have someone to move the motion. Councillor Dan Douglas and Councillor Gus Field. All those in favour, please raise hands. Further, unanimous and carry. Yes. It's a pretty good score. That's my favourite. Thank you, um, public and media. Uh, in relation to closed council 18.1, the restaurant fit out for the Dunham Long building request for quote. Council uh, 
resolve to authorise the general manager to negotiate the award of a contract for project 223-224-0572, restaurant fit out Donald Horn building. 18.2, uh, the project for 2023-2024-0578A processing of FOGO tender evaluation plan. Council resolved on councillors, staffs. No, one endorses the evaluation plan for projects 2023-2024-0578A to proceed to selective tender for food organics, garden organics processing to commence on the 1st of July 2024. And two notes that the tender process for establishment of BOGO processing facility on council premises will be undertaken with support from an external consultant and the associated valuation plan will be reported to council prior to release to the market. 18.3, the regional procurement tender T162324 HUN line marking is resolved on council's res staff's resolution that um, complete line marking services provide you limited, Dolphin line marking provide you limited trading is Dolphin line marking, JM uh, road marking specialist provide you limited, Oz line marking in New South Wales provide you limited, General Ad provide you limited trading as white line road services and work. Road service proprietary limited be awarded the contract for line marking services as a panel source supplies to Muswell Shire Council for the period of the 1st of October 2023 to the 30th of September 2025, and a provision to uh, be allowed for a 12 month extension based on satisfactory supply performance, which may take this contract through to the 30th of June 2026. And 18.4, the regional procurement contract T152324 HUN traffic control. Council rejects all submission for regional procurement tender T152324 HUN in favour of engaging contractors under the local government procurement standing of the deep traffic management services. Uh, and that will just be end of the meeting at 7.27. I'd like to thank everyone um, for attending. Again, congratulate Councillor McNeil on his deputy mayor election as well. Thank you everyone for your time. Thank you.